as students and vanguards of our history, we're slacking. Many in this room are the only ones that can help us from going through another Transition 13. There's not a lot of people that's on this level. We're of like a dying breed. There's 43 million people of African descent in America. Nearly 50% are 35 years and younger. After all the books and lectures that we've been to and read, where's the application? Why haven't we yet to return to greatness? Probably all of us got probably 20 years, 175,000 hours worth of listening, watching, and reading information about our story. Yet, I ask the question, where's the physical manifestation of this comprehension? The only person bold enough to have a plan was Garvey. He didn't wait for a tidal wave of people to wake up like we're doing now. We're waiting for, you know, as soon as we all come together, we're going to go and get this. No, Garvey went and did it. That's the mentality that we don't have right now. I say this because we can't afford to have another 100 generation slumber with no economic plan. We'll face what other elders have faced in their elder years. Some of our master scholars died broke, couldn't even pay rent, couldn't get the care or the, the accolades that they, that they deserve for preserving our story. Our youth are disinterested in our works because they see there's no wealth in it. All right. All right. All right. As much as we talk about how pyramids we built and we were this, that 25,000 years ago, what about today? So how do we get here? I'm not, you know, this is not all our fault, but it's rooted in how we've been trained to think.